what's up everybody this is rebel and um i'm back here with part two of the one world tartarian and i'm going to um I, I i will be able to finish this today and one thing before i start i just want to say this when it comes to um us what's going on right now is that our frequency have changed one thing i'm going to tell you when you look at us and you see that a lot of us we have stopped eating meat we don't eat what we, we don't desire it anymore um the reason i now that i look back at the at the um the jab that they were trying to give everybody in america the, now that i look back at it i get it because to see here's here's what had to happen this is what they thought had to happen and but they was not successful when we begin to get woke up back in back in um I believe that was 19, that was, no, no, it was the 2000s when a lot of people begin to wake up. The reason why we begin to wake up like that, it was for what's going on right today. That's why a lot of us became enlightened. We, we you know, we, we, we became, we, we began to be by ourselves, not wanting to be around a lot of people. We wanted to just be by ourselves because um, it was something going on with us and we couldn't, we didn't understand it. We had to be, be, be enlightened because of what's going on today or we all would have been destroyed okay i want to say this when you look at when, when, when you wonder why you the only one that's 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 enlightening your family the reason why you the only one that's enlightening your family because you are the priest or the priestess of your family this is why they i noticed each family it was only one person maybe two but not really that became enlightened and the reason why, because you are the priest in the priestess of your family. The reason why they had to give us the jab, the reason why they had to do it was because they knew that what we're going through right now and what's going on with them where this government is falling, they thought they could get a hold on it if they gave us a jab and, and, and fucked up our DNA to put us back to sleep. This is the reason why they have been injecting our children, injecting our children for all these years when they go to the hospital. This is the reason why they like for you to have your children in the hospital. That was not practiced amongst the, um, amongst the melanated community. We normally had midwives. We didn't go to the hospital. My grandma, when I pulled up her record, she was born, she had a midwife, okay? We had midwives that deliver our children. There was no point of us going to the hospital. When you go to a hospital, that's for sick people. When you, when you are pregnant, you are not sick. It's, a nat it's natural for your body to carry a, 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 carry a child in your body. That's natural. They had to give us the jab because they, had to, they wanted to fuck up our DNA to put us back to sleep so they could carry on. That was the reason for it. And then when people start resisting them, this is why they on to something else now. They on to a war and want us to feel sorry for people who we don't even know. But you, 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 you have taken our land, murdered our people, murdered our children. You have done so much to keep us down. And we suppose they always want us to look. This is why in my house and people, when I tell them I don't own a TV, you should see the shock on their face. Well, what do you do? I don't do anything. I just don't own a TV. See, some people, because your mind, because you, you, some people are so trapped, that's why they still have a TV in their house. I don't have one. I have an iPad, but that's it. But anyway, the reason why they had to, they, 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 was, they was trying to give us that jab to, to, to mess us up, to kill us off. Because they wanted to stay in power. Now they know that that's not going to happen. And they know that we're not going to take a jab. They know that. And I work in the healthcare field. And I don't. Now a lot of them nurses. Melanated nurses. Do, do have the jab. A lot of them. And I was shocked. But I never got it. And a couple of other nurses. We, we was like. No nah, we ain't doing that. But the, for the bulk, a bulk of it. A lot of them got it. Now. Let me start off. Um. I'm just I'm just happy that I'm a part of this because this is extraordinary. The way that we see this government falling, um, you go on TikTok, you see celebrities just just trying to dance and keep themselves relevant. You know, it's like the 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 boule. 
the gatekeepers. Because, see, let me tell you what the boule is. The boule is a lot of sororities. A lot of sororities that get together and they're your gatekeepers. See, let me tell you something. If the boule had power, if they had power, why is it we have billionaires and millionaires, but we still go into this government to ask for welfare assistance? We still go into this government to get Section 8. We still go into white bank owners to own a house where they charging us double for the house. If the house... 300,000, they gonna charge you another 150 just to, just to give you the loan. Meaning that you will never own, even if you pay the house off, you will never own it. Because if you miss them taxes, I don't care if the tax is $2, they taking that house from you. Or, or if they really want it, they can do public domain and still take it. This is the shit that we, see, none of this shit, they don't want you to own anything just like a car. When you got a car every year, you got to renew your tags. Your car have to go through an inspection inspection in some cities in order for you to keep the car. If it can't go through the inspections, then you can't drive it on the road. Electricity, we have to pay for it or we be in the dark and, and have candles. They demoted us. We, 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 were, we were superior and they demoted us to nothing. They demoted us to nothing. And this is what I'm going to say too. It's a lot of people on my channel. I keep you on my channel. A lot of people I had to, I had to uh, block them from my channel. Because one thing I'm not going to do is put down melanated people. This is the time for healing. This is not the time to be talking about struggling. This is not the time for that. I want to talk about our greatness because we do have greatness. If we did not come for, if we did not come on the bottom of a slave ship, that means that we had greatness. And America was already ours. That means we had greatness. See, a lot of people don't know they blew up a lot at the the World Fair in the 1800s. They blew up a lot of your shit. This government you see is a newbie. It's not as old as you think it is. It's a newbie. When they came over here and got comfortable, they blew up your shit. They went from state to state to state blowing up your shit. When you talk about Rosewood and when you talk about um, when you talk about Rosewood and you talk about uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, when, when they dropped them bombs on Tulsa, Oklahoma and set Rosewood on fire, they was doing it all over. That's why they felt so comfortable. They was doing it all over. But let me start reading. Let me start reading this book because I, I don't want to be on here too long. And I want you to I want everybody to. Um, uh, you know, I, I want you to get the information because this time we we already understand. We don't have to prove a point that we is a, we we was here and we was the first. And we don't have to prove that anymore because it's, it have already been proven. It have already been proven to the point the Pan Africans is trying to cross over and they having they're having a hard time because we just giving you the information. It's a reason why we just giving you the information. We don't have a Patron account. We don't have any of that. We giving you the information because this is a matter of life and death. And I'm really talking about life and death because they're getting to the point that they want to reset it, but they want to reset it to the point you don't. That's why they wanted. That's why they get, they came out with the jab. It, it had nothing to do with a sickness. It had to do with to shut you up and to put you back to sleep. That was a matter of desperation on their part, not on ours. So let me start out by um by saying and they all they a lot of this they they keep saying Morris in this book and I'm not gonna even say it because I'm not a Moor and and I'll never I'm indigenous and indigenous meaning or means original to America. I don't go by any name. I'm original to America. That's why I say I'm indigenous. Not I'm saying is 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 not like a title, but I'm I'm original to America. That's why I say I am indigenous. I don't go by names. Not like that, I don't. So anyway, um, it's a author and hyster uh, uh, historian, Chancellor Williams said, the original Moors, I, I want to say this for a reason, the original Moors, like the original e Egyptians, were black Africans, okay? Moors is, 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 is connected to Africans and Europeans. Moors is not co connected to indigenous of America. It's not, okay? The 6th century... English play writer 
William Shakespeare used the word more as a synonym for Africans. His contemporary Christopher Marlowe also used African and Moors interchangeably. Okay? Black soldiers specifically identified as Moors were actively recruited by Rome and served in Britain, France, Switzerland, Australia, Hungary, Poland, and Romania. You, you hear that? Okay. And then it says, if you come down, the Moorish, advan uh, the Moorish advance advances in mathematics, art, agriculture, help propel Europe. Remember the no black, the black, no, no, the melanated nobility. Help propel Europe out of dark ages into the Renaissance. Okay. Let's keep going. Now, um, this talking about this, this talking about the transatlantic slave story. Okay, it said another huge NWO lie, meaning New World Order lie. The transatlantic slave trade out of out of Africa theory. Some 12.5 million million Africans were taken from their home and forced aboard ship slaves that were destined for the New World. About 10. 0.7 million people survived the horror of the Middle Passage between 1526 and 1866. And it said, before I started reading that, it said, so the story goes. And then, you know, I started reading this. Then it said, only to the end, only to end up in bondage on sugar, rice, cotton, and tobacco plantations throughout the Americas and the Caribbeans. The transatlantic slave trade is the largest forced migration in history. Then let me go down. It says they brought more in more than 10 million African slaves, according to the National Archive of Spain and Smithsonian records. There, there was no evidence to prove 70,000 ships were with black Africans ever sailed to the Americans. Okay. Then it said Merville carried out a teaching of his mentor, Frank Boaz, to make the original copper color race of the Americans inferior and the Europeans present superior. Before this time, blacks coming from Africa through the transatlantic slave trade story never existed, okay? As a result, Merville work as has been fragments and used, to, used as propaganda by writers like Harold Corlander and Alex Haley, okay, which further perp perpetrates the myth of the transatlantic slave trade through the hit movie Roots. And remember, he was sued, and the people who sued him was 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 granted. Um, I think it was a hundred thousand, a hundred plus thousand dollars. He was found guilty for stealing a man's story. Alex Haley, the melanated man that came out with the story Roots. Okay? Americans were black people and they were not brought here on ships. Okay? All right. Let's keep going. All right. Now, let's talk about, uh, I want to talk about the Toltecs, Mayan, and Aztecs, etc. Okay? All were melanated. And it keeps saying Moors, but I'm not going to say Moors because we're not Moors. Okay? It's, it says, most historians, anthropologists, and scholars refer to the Olmecs as the mother culture of pre-Hispanic Mexicans. The presence of the Olmec predates the Mayan civilization by more than 1,500 years, and the Aztecs and Mexicans by in Mexico by as many as 2,500 years, which would indeed make it the oldest pre-colonial colonial civilized society in Mesoamerica. Emerging from the jungle, jungles of Mexico, southernmost Gulf Coast, the Olmecs influence spread through Central America and manifests itself in art, uh, architect, religion, rich, religious rituals, and other areas. There is enough evidence from architects digs to support the idea that the Olmec civilization possessed several of the characteristics 
of the civilization, a social structure and a political structure and economic structure, religion and art, okay? And you know, these are the Omics. Remember the heads. And I'm, I wanna say something about this, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for a second. I'm gonna wait. Okay. Then I want to show you something. And they talk about, when they talk about the um, Aztecs, I'm gonna show you a picture of the Aztecs. You remember the, the um, cartoon where they used to say stuff and the stuff, the Simpsons, and, and the stuff used to come to pass. And, and, and people used to be like, how the fuck did, did they know that? See, a lot of your shit is in the movies. A lot of the shit that's going on right now is in the movies. Let me show you an Aztec. These are our people. You remember the Simpsons? Look closely at them. Look closely at these people right here. See, that, that's how the Aztecs looked it. Those are melanated people in Mexico. Okay? That's where the Simpsons, that's where they got the Simpsons from. And you think they just came up with that out the clear blue. No, they did not. No, they did not. That's not true. Okay? Let's keep going. All right. Now, let's talk about vibration because we noticed that a lot of people out here, they're sick. A lot of people out here, um, a lot of people out here, a lot of melanated people is dying off. And we know this. And we have to understand as melanated people and uh, as us being enlightened, we are the priests and the priestess of our family. We have been through a lot. And we was groomed for what we going through right now, for what melanated people is going through right now, what enlightened people is going through right now. We was groomed for this. We was groomed for what we're, we're doing right now. We was groomed for this. Okay. So let me talk about the, um, the sound. The sound is vibration in the ether. And, and ether have to do with just supernatural powers. Ether, when it comes to the vibration, ether, it just have to do with, 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 with supernatural powers. And let me just, let me just read a little bit of, a little bit of this, this, because in our culture, before they came and destroyed everything and blew up everything, because that's basically what the fuck they did. Before they, they did this, what they did is, it was like, before they did this, how we used to live, it was sounds, it was vibrations that healed our body. We wasn't sick, but we no longer have this. We no longer have this. This is why when you go around and you look at the mounds, see, it was, it, it was, it was energy. It, even in the mounds, you can go in them and it was energy to heal your body. Them church, them cathedrals and stuff like that. It was, it, it was energy in there to heal you. They even had energy to even to heal animals. We didn't eat animals. We didn't eat them. That's new. And the reason why, <clears throat> the reason why they tell you to eat three meals and always put meat on TV, because that what that meat do, it aids you. What that meat do, it take your skin and it wrinkles up your skin and it make your skin rough and it make your skin look like you're, you're 80 years old and you're not. Okay, let me read, let me read about vibration. Vibrations affect, disturb, excite all magnetic fields. They can reach, including fields around our bodies. Our bodies, okay? Different frequency of sound, vibration have different effects on our body and minds. Whether good vibes or bad vibes. That, for example, the music. People always ask, they like, why, why is it that the children is aging aggressively? The reason why melanated children is aging, aging aggressively is the vibration. A lot of them is living in low vibration. A lot of our children is, 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 is strung out on drugs. A lot of our children at the age of, of 10 and 11, they had already been turned out by a family member. Our children, even though they shouldn't be living a rough life, this day and age, they are. Pedoph pedophilia is deep in our community. We don't like to talk about it, but it is. So when, when, when our children get out here, it's like they just out here. And, and see, we don't have these, these plants no more that can heal our children. We don't have these plants out here that, that these, these, these ma ma magnetic sounds that can heal us. That's why you see so many melanated people dying now. That's why you see that. All right.
All right. Now, let's talk about the architect. And um, what I want to talk about is the, the, mag the magnificent worldwide Tatarian architect. And said to have been all built in the 13th century with horse and buggy. Now, let me show you this because I want you to see this and see what they claim they built with horses and buggies. See, this right here can show you that you didn't, you wasn't riding on no, on no uh, horse and buggy building stuff like this. See, this stuff, it been around. This is why they had to blow it up. This is the reason why they had to blow these buildings up because the horse and carriage, they had to take you backwards because they could not show you your greatness because guess what? Your greatness is in your DNA. That's why we woke right now. Look at these buildings. They say a horse and buggy built all of this. Look at these beautiful buildings. A horse and buggy built these buildings. You, you actually believe that? They say these buildings was built in the 1300s and a horse and buggy built all of these. Okay. See, they had to feed you this and take you back to keep your land. They had to do that to take you. They had to do this to take you back so they could take your land. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. See, this is yours. All of that is yours. You wasn't no dumb slaves on the bottom of, of a slave ship. And, and your children was being taken. If you go to vital statistics. And you may have to, you know, if it's too far back. If it's like in the 1800s. You're going to have to write and, and send off and get, get your family birth certificates. But why is it you claim that we were spread it around. And, 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 we, and we was... And, and and they and, and our kids would, would would screw this kid and whoever was the strongest and they would make babies and and they would um the babies was taken from them but you can pull up your people pull up the birth certificate and everything that's why I say it's no point of us continuously talking about the slave trade story because it it, it we can debunk it in any which way. This is why Pan Africans is having a hard time crossing over because they cannot refute what we're saying. They can't do it. The only thing they can do is fuss and fight. And that's what they want to do. That's why I didn't gotten to the point when you come on my page and you want to fight and you want to go against me, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to block you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to play any more games because th this is crunch time. And what they're trying to do, they're trying to reset this shit. This is the reason why they wanted to give you the injection. To, to, to mess you up. So because they knew that this time, this time and age, we was going to wake up. That was a desperate move on their behalf. And, and they was not successful because we wasn't going. Okay? They claimed that a horse and buggy built all of this stuff. Look at this building. Look at this building. Look at this building. Look at this. A horse and buggy built all of this. And this is up in the air right here. Look at that. A horse and a buggy built this right here. Built all of this. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. Look at this right here. A horse and a buggy built that. No fucking way. No fucking way. No. This is, this, a lot of this stuff is in America. But to see, the Tatarians was worldwide. The Tatarians was all over. But the main... But, but it was really over. We owned everything. This is why they have to keep us suppressed like they do. We was the rulers of everything in America. We, were, we are the sleeping giants. This is why they have to keep us oppressed. This is why when Africans find out, when you tell them you're not an African, they, 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 they damn near clutch their heart. Like, oh my God, what? You ain't an African. No, you are not. No, no, I'm not an African. That's not true. That's not true. And I be smiling when I'm telling them. No, no, that's not true. I'm not an African-American, neither do I go by it. The reason why the frequency is changing because we're changing. This is why we can't be contained because we're changing now. Our DNA is changing. This is why they want us to give you an injection to keep your DNA, to, to demote you and to kill you off. Look at this. And see, they begin to destroy and blow up. They went from city to city. The, the, the World Fair, that's in the 1800s. Look at that. They was blowing up your shit. See that? They was tearing down your shit. Look at that. They claim horse and carriage built all of these buildings. They're a damn lie. 
Look at, look at this tall building right here. We had statues made of gold. Look at this. A horse and carriage built this. Built this. Built this. Hot, hot. This is top. This is the top of, of a dome. They said a horse and carriage built this. See, remember these? And we used to, in the Pan-African, we used to say that that was the melanated man phallus. No, it wasn't. It, no, it wasn't. It was plants where you, it, 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 it was energy plants where you got healed from. That's what that was about. That's what that was about. And when you see a tall steep, that's that's the melanated man phallus. No, it wasn't. They was obsessed with the melanated man phallus. No, it wasn't. It was energy plants to heal your body. That's what a lot of that was. When you see on a church, those steeples, those was energy plants to heal your body. That's what it was. That was that's what it was about. See, you don't want us to know that. You don't want to know. See, see, and let me tell you something. The energy is still here. The problem is, is that you, we have to tap into it. The energy is still here right today. That's why if you look around, if you look around, you see how the animals is even changing. The animals is far more intelligent than, than what they used to be. And we're far more intelligent than what we used to be. Mm-mm. No, we still have the energy right here. This is why the mounds and the pyramids that's over here, they made sure they put dirt over them because that was energy. You can go and you can get healed. That's, 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 that's how they would play music and you can get healed. They don't want us to live like that no more. They want us to go to them where they make us more sicker. Look at all these sick people out here. And you notice it's a vibration out here that's killing people too. See, we don't want to talk about that. It's a vibration. I don't know if it's coming from the sun, but it's coming from somewhere. And they, it ain't even about color. Because you see a lot of melanated people dying too. They lay down and go to sleep and they don't wake up no more. Because there's a vibration out here that's taking people up out of here too. And see, they want to blame it on COVID. No, it's a vibration out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Now, um... Precision cut massive stones worldwide worldwide by whom? With what tools? It's the horse and carriage. Look at these big blocks. So you mean to tell me a horse and carriage? Look at that big block. Look at this big block right here. That's a that, all this is a block. Look at these big blocks. And this was all over the world. See, they went all over the world tearing up shit. They just wasn't doing it in America. They was doing it all over. The New World Order. And it's not only white people. It's melanated people too. Don't let them fool you. It's melanated people too. When in your community, how is it that all these Koreans came? Listen here. White people do not know how to take care of melanated people. No, they don't. How is it that these white, these, these Chinese people can come in our hood, don't have our hair texture, but can turn around and sell our products to us? Know what we use on our hair. Know the whole nine. No, it's melanated people in this shit too. Don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself at all. Okay? Let's keep going. All right? Connecting the ether. Sell it. Sell away. Connecting the ether. Sell anywhere and anywhere and everywhere. Let me, let me read this. Okay? I'm just going to read a paragraph. Okay? Like they tell you about the boats. They had water and the water you can you you got energy from the water you could sell wherever you wanted to go We didn't use oil We had energy in the water that you could sell wherever you wanted to go They had to change that to make us out of slaves. They had to give us work to do We was never supposed to have a job. This is why you ate. This is why your body break down this is that's the reason why your body break down. Let me read this. The science is not uh, the science is not complicated. Water is a conductor, electricity. As as we all know, Nikola Tesla. He just the front. This was a white man. This just a front man. No, he didn't know it. But he he he. Trust me, it's melanated people behind this. Okay. Persona was created to hide the fact. Okay, they saying it right here. I'm glad they said this. Nikola Tesla, persona was created to hide the fact that Tatarians hid had masters mastered how to use a North Pole's negative charge. 
the the um the an Antarctic Circle, the Antarctic Circle, positive charge in the the ions in the ether along with the salt water of the ocean to be able to use free energy on the ocean and sea. The salt in the water created a electrolysis lysis to conduct an alternating alternating current needed for any boat to harness Earth's magnet magnet electricity. Therefore, they had all the power, free power, to light up their boats, run electricity, and sail anywhere they wanted, anytime they wanted. See? And see, the reason why you have to pay bills is to keep you a slave. That's why you pay bills. It's not that you gotta pay bills, no. You never paid bills. We was free. This was this was an island. We lived a good life. We didn't live a messed up life. Look at this. Compressed air train. No coal or logs need no no coal or logs needed. Look at this. They was ran on air. These are the trains. When they talk that craziness to the, to you, these was the trains and they was ran on air. See, this is you. This is you. Hold on. Let's keep going. Now. Let's let's talk about the giants. So that's why I want to get back to the omics. Let's talk. There were giants amongst us. When I when I when I read the omic story, and they said those heads was different, uh, um, different people, different kings that was in that was in 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 um that was in power at that time. So they had they found many 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 heads, and they would move these heads. From one place to another. And nobody to this day can tell you how those heads was moved. Well, there was giants amongst us. This is why. This is the reason why they don't want to tell you the fucking truth about what's really going on. Because if they tell you the truth, it would scare you. And let me tell you something. A lot of melanated people going to fight against what I'm saying. Let them fight. Let's keep going. Because those are the ones that then sold out. Those are the ones that do not want to change. Those are the ones that that have have not experienced what we experienced, what star seeds experienced. They have not experienced it. This is why they come on my videos and they talk shit because they want me to stop saying this. They want me see. I can say I'm indigenous, but they want me to talk about oh we had little tents and we was naked and we was dancing around. No, we was we was superior people. And I'm gonna continuously say it, and I will not stop saying it for nobody. We was not mediocre people. We were not. And you're not going to get me to say that. When you talk about the Omax, how they they still they know how them heads was moved. They know it was it was giants on this earth. They know that. They're not going to tell you. Let's keep going, okay? There were giants amongst us, okay? Listen to what I'm about to say. The US Supreme Court ruling has forced the Smithsonian Institution to release classified papers dating from the early 1900s that prove the organization was involved in a major historical cover-up. The cover-up destroyed evidence showing giant human remains in the tens of thousands had been uncovered all across America. Okay? The piece of evidence were ordered to be destroyed by high level administration, meaning the boule, meaning the, 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 the melanated nobility, the white nobility. If that makes you feel more comfortable. Yeah. Okay. High level administration. They don't want, they just don't want to say the, the melanated nobility. Okay. To protect the mainstream, um, Chronological, uh, chrono, chrono, logic. I, I, I can't even say the word of humans. I can't say that word today, and I don't know why I can't. Of humans, evolution at the at the time, according to the court ruling, Smithsonian's admitted admitted to destruction of thousands of giant human skeletons in the early 1900s. Look right there. Look right there. See, those are the heads, and they was destroying them. All right.
right? And look, look at this. See, when people show you these giants, that's true. And guess what? And I'm going to say this, and, and some people may get offended at what I'm saying. It was white giants, too. It was Asian giants. If you look, these are two white men. This is an Asian. This is an Asian. These are giants. Okay? These are melanated. That I think believe that's an Asian. See, but it's in black and white. But these was 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 people of all ethnic groups. I'm gonna tell you this too. Okay? Like I tell anybody, if you know whether you belong here or not, go out in the sun, take off your glasses and, and sun glaze. Sun sun glaze at the sun. If you want to know you belong here, go, don't put on no sunscreen and go out in the sun because the sun shouldn't burn you. See, because it's, it's, it's white people, not a lot, but it's white people that don't burn either. I just want to say that, you know, it's not about you, you. You Let me tell you something. I'm the type of person, if you're right, you're right. It's about the truth. It's not about a lie. When I was pro-black, when I was into that, then that's another story. We know indigenous, uh, uh, aboriginal, I'm sorry, not aboriginal, indigenous people was, was carpet tone. We understand that. But if you look in this book, it was white giants too. It was an Asian giant. They all, a, a white woman, she was a giant. We have to, if, if this is what, if these, if this is what these pictures are showing, you cannot sit up and lie. You cannot, you cannot have a respect of person. Because that's what it is. It's a respect of person. I want the truth to come out. Go out in the sun and then you will know whether you belong here or not. The sun will tell you everything. Because the sun should not never be against you. If the sun is against you, then there, there's a problem there. If I got to tell you before I go outside I need to put on some sunscreen, it's a problem there. This is why we're fought against. This is why. This is why they tell melanated people in America, you need sunscreen. No, you don't. Something is wrong if you do. Something is seriously wrong if you do. I am I I was in Clarksdale, Mississippi when I was 14 years years old. The 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 um it was like 120 degrees in the summer. I mean it was hot and I never put on no sunscreen. Out playing the whole nine. Never put on no sunscreen. If you want to know you, if you whether you belong here or not, put on sunscreen. I mean, go out in the sun. And the sun will let you know. A lot of people, and it's melanated people too, dying. Just, just dying. It's the energy that's out here. That's, that, 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 that's really messing up a lot of people too. A lot of people took a jab. I mean, it's, it, and, and, and this was a desperate move by the elite to try to stay in power. You know why you want to get that one last stance and they couldn't get it. Now they sitting up here and they looking crazy because they know that it's over with now. They know it's nothing more that they can do and they know ain't nobody scared of them. Matter of fact, ain't no, ain't nobody even afraid to die. They even got us to the point. We afraid, you know, we afraid to even die. Let me tell you something. Let me, I, I just want to just talk to you just for a little bit, about three or four more minutes. And then I'm going to get up off of here. Let me tell you something. See, I told y'all about a story when I was like about 14. And I told y'all how um, a man told me it wasn't my time to go yet. And he sent me back. Okay. I was near death. And he sent me back. And when I was about to go through the light, he told me to come back. I'm going to tell you another story. Because my life been been damn near took it, took it a couple times. I, I told y'all I was adopted. And see, if you if you still cry, it's not meant for you to talk about it. But when you don't cry no more, you can talk about it because you know you healed from it. Even though you'll never forget it, you healed from it. So my auntie was gone, and she all of her children was older than us. And by me being who I was and who I was going to become, they tried to destroy me. It wasn't even my brother and sister, it was me. They, they didn't like me. Um, you know, they just didn't like me. I just, I just didn't belong. So my cousin, my two cousins, you know, like in New York, them, them deep bathtubs, we had a deep bathtub. 
So they ran the water, ran the water real high, ran the water real high to the point the water was damn near coming over. I'm upstairs, everybody else downstairs. My sister see them doing it. And I'm gonna tell you this too. My comment section is open. My family, they don't comment on my shit because I don't fuck with them like that, but I know they see my videos, okay? So I get, my comment section is stay open because if I lie, they can come back and tell you, no, she lying, okay? All right, and and, and they already know. They, they, they ain't gonna play with me like that. That's one thing they not gonna do because they know what they done and they know what I did, okay? I'm gonna leave it as that. It ain't about being angry. It's just about that's how the fuck it is. So, they ran the water. My sister downstairs, my sister's at the door watching them run the water. So, they, my sister, they didn't throw my sister in it. My sister right there. They, they, they like, they said, where that weird motherfucker at? Talking about me. Where that weird motherfucker at? And one of them gonna say, oh, she probably upstairs looking out the window at the stars. Because I used to stare a lot. But that's because my discernment. I'm, I'm, I can discern. A I can walk up on you and I can discern you. Matter of fact, if you start talking through this camera, I can discern you. Right in it, I can discern you. I know whether you real or whether you're fake. I know it. I may not say nothing, but I know it. So... They was like that weird motherfucker. So some shit, some some shit. That's how. That's what they say. That weird motherfucker upstairs. Whatever. So they come upstairs. My cousin James picked me up. Picked me up. And I, I think I was about this. I was small, real small. I was about like this. He picked me up. He come upstairs. Picked me up. Now my sister right by the bathroom. So they, so they could have dumped her ass in there. They come get me. Okay. Take me to the take me to the to the tub. He throws me up in the tub, full of water. I I I, I didn't know how to swim, nothing. So they kept pushing my head down, kept pushing my head down. I heard my sister start crying. They kept pushing my head down, kept pushing my head down. They turn around, and um, they turn around, and my cousin James hold my head down in the water. Hold my head down. My sister in the back of me crying. And, and I mean, not in the back of me, but she at the door of the bathroom crying. Until my body was just limp. My body was just in a tub limp. This is in a tub limp. And when they see that, they start, my sister said they start looking at each other. They started looking at each other. Both of them have, they, they mildly retarded. They, both of them was mildly retarded. That's what I, I used to always think anyway. They get me out the tub. They get me out the tub and I'm laying there. No response, not doing, just laying there. And all of a sudden, I start coughing up, up, up water. And my sister's sitting up there crying, looking at me crying. Because it was nothing she can do and it's nothing I can do because they was older than us. They was, they was older than us. Every last one of them was older than us. Every last one of them. None of, me, my brother and sister was not older than them. And James, I think at that time, he was damn near, he had to be, he was damn near a grown ass man. Regina was, she was a big girl then. You know, but they thought it was funny because they felt we didn't have a mother so they could do that to us. Now they see me when I did go around them and then you could see the fear in their face because they know what they did. And they not too much... They don't, they don't mess with Sharon and my, my, my brother and sister. But when, when I come around, they just, it's almost like they see a ghost. Because I, I went around them a couple of times, not that much. But I went around them a couple of times and it was almost like they seen the ghost. You know, one thing you have to understand, they, they put death out here to make us afraid. And both times, I never felt nothing. Both times I never felt, I don't remember feeling, any, feeling anything. So I say this to say that we're not afraid. Whatever happened, let it happen. But this truth, we, it, 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 the universe is, is, is at war with them. It's entities that's at war with them. And it's us at war with them now. So they're running. We're no longer running. And, and when you see melanated people get on your page, the reason why they on here and they trying to, they trying to trip me up is because they want me to stop talking. And then here's the sad part. 
You go on they you can come on my page with your bullshit. But when I go on your page, you don't have a following. You don't even have one well, of you don't even have a video that even have a good 10,000 views on it. Not one video. You don't even have a video that have a thousand shares on it. You don't have a video that have went viral. But you want to trip me up. Be careful. because we, And it's a lot of students like myself that's about to come out. Because it's your time. You, when, when you get this information, it's not about you. You know the truth. You know the truth. It's about us walking in our calling again. It's about us getting our land back. They thought they they thought with them jabs they was gonna be able to stop it, and now they know they can't. We don't even wear that all that expensive shit. Them them, so let them boulets, they can't even fuck with us. They can't fuck with us. The Pan Africans they trying to cross over. They can't do it. It's a lot of people you got to get through. It's a lot of us that's awakened. Pan African, they that shit is dead. Cause it's a new regime. It's the old one, cause it's nothing new up under the sun. But it's time for us to come out. You all have a nice day, and God. Uh, um, I was about to say some crazy shit. You all have, cause I'm tired. I just got off work, but I needed to make this video. You all have a a, a beautiful day, and 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 may the ancestors. Be with you. Goodbye.